Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Welcome. We are very glad that you are all with us today. My name is Jamie Moon, and I am the president of the Institute for Child Success, ICS. ICS is a nonpartisan, nonprofit research and policy organization focused on the well being of young children and their families in the state of South Carolina. We are joined today with our partners, the United Way Association of South Carolina, the Children's Trust of South Carolina, Save the Children Action Network, and several of our state's elected officials to unveil the 2019 Early Childhood Common Agenda. While momentum continues to grow for our state's youngest children, we know that the American dream is not yet a reality for far too many of our state's youngest children. Therefore, we are very excited to promote these sensible solutions that leaders from all political perspectives can support. The Early Childhood Common Agenda has been developed annually by a wide range of South Carolina stakeholders over the past six years. In that relatively short period of time, we are very proud that this common agenda has informed several important pieces of legislation positively impacting young children. But we all know that there is plenty more to do. There is growing consensus among children's advocates and lawmakers in South Carolina that we should set a statewide goal of becoming the best place in the nation in which to raise a child. This may seem like a lofty goal, but by working together, we can make it a reality. So it is now my pleasure to introduce the distinguished elected officials you will hear from today. We are pleased to have with us the South Carolina Lieutenant Governor, Pamela Yvette, Senator Scott Talley, and Representative Rita Allison, Chair of the House Education and Public Works Committee. It's now my pleasure to welcome to the podium a true champion of children in our state, Chair Lady Rita Allison. Thank you, Jamie. It's a, it's a great honor to be here today on this special, special day, and I want to thank everyone that is here joining us today. You know, as we all know, education is a major priority for everyone in South Carolina, and we're paying additional time and energy working together to build a world-class education system right here in this beautiful Palmetto State of South Carolina. And a critical piece of that puzzle is making sure that we pay special attention to the foundational first five years of a child's life. It takes all of us working together to do that. The K through 12 system will only achieve those outcomes that we need if kindergartners arrive with a strong foundation and we now have a tremendous opportunity in this state to work together to ensure that kids arrive at kindergarten safe, healthy, and ready to learn. And that is all children in the state of South Carolina. Today, several of our state's leading early childhood organizations are releasing the 2019 South Carolina Early Childhood Common Agenda. As always, there are a lot of good ideas in this common agenda. I appreciate the work of these fine organizations in bringing to us this wonderful agenda. South Carolina Children's Trust, the Institute of Child Success, Save the Children Action Network, and the United Way Association of South Carolina all working with our early childhood first steps to make sure that we give an opportunity to every child in the state of South Carolina. I know we'll be taking a very close look at these ideas as we work on our K-12 system of reform in South Carolina. And I'm thrilled to be joined also by so many of our friends here today at the State House in support of both the effort and of ECCA. And now I'd like to pass the podium along to 
uh, a senator who is very invested in education in our state. Senator Henry could not be with us today, and he's my counterpart in the Senate as chairman of the, of the Senate Education. But today, Senator Scott Talley is with us. He's a great advocate for education in the state and works hard on that committee in the Senate. So it's great for the House and the Senate to join together in this great effort. Senator Scott Talley. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Scott Talley, State Senator from District 12, representing Spartanburg and Greenville counties. It's an honor to stand here with this distinguished group who has put so much time and effort into the young people of our state. And it's just an honor to be part of this announcement today as we look how we improve their future for South Carolina. When you take a close look at how South Carolina has invested in its young children, you see a lot of different initiatives with different approaches. Even when you're just talking about early learning centers, the Department of Education oversees some programs, DSS controls others, and First Steps yet others. One recommendation that resonates from the common agenda is to better align those services, and we're working in the House and the Senate and with the executive branch to do just that. We would like to know that all folks are working on health, education, and safety for our youngest South Carolinians can coordinate and reinforce each other so that we can build momentum around improving the outcomes for our youngest citizens. Senate Bill 291 is an example of how we can get different agencies and groups out of silos across South Carolina to have a laser focus on young people. It's important that we debate K through 12 reform and how we improve that in South Carolina. And it's important that we debate higher education and how we reform that and improve it for South Carolina. But what really matters, depending on whatever study you listen to or whatever articles you may read, is that the formative years for our young South Carolinians are birth to age five. And so it is important that we align our resources, we align the talent uh, we align the, the, the mechanisms we have in place to invest in these young children. I'm pleased joining us in this effort is someone that really needs no introduction, but I want to introduce her anyway, Lieutenant Governor Pamela Evett. I'm Pamela Evett, and I am Lieutenant Governor of the great state of South Carolina, and I am honored to be here today in support of the common childhood agenda and the importance of both strong families and early education in the lives of our South Carolina children. They are our most prized possession. Over the past year, I have met with numerous agencies and organizations who work to ensure that children have bright futures. And time and time again, it is reinforced that we must invest in our children and we must invest early. We must invest not just in public and private institutions, but also in parents. As Governor McMaster and I have both said on numerous occasions, improving educational outcomes in South Carolina will take more than just money. All the money in the state budget will not create change if children do not have active parents with steady work. All three must be addressed together, funding, family, and jobs. We must empower and enable our parents and guardians with the knowledge and the tools to work with their children at an early age, reading to them and engaging with them. Studies show that children who are read to starting at an early age perform better in school. We have programs in place, great programs, but we must do more. We must find creative solutions to reach children in all areas of our state. The Zero to 20 Committee will be very important as we embark on this education reform. This committee does not add another layer to our educational system, but works hand in hand with the Department of Education, the Education Oversight Committee, the Commission for Higher Education, and the State Board of Education toward the goals of greater cooperation and collaboration. The goal of the Zero to 20 Committee is to create greater efficiencies 
and effectiveness in the agencies that directly impact our educational system in order to adequately address what our workforce needs. I'm proud to stand here today as your Lieutenant Governor at the dawn of a new political area, one characterized in collaboration and cooperation. We may wear different jerseys, but we all play for the same winning team. It's truer now than ever before. I am confident that we can work together, we can achieve more for our state, for our families, and for our children. Thank you so much for having me here today, and I'm going to turn it back over to Jamie Moon. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor, Senator Talley, and Representative Allison. Thank you for your support and your enthusiasm for advancing the well-being of children. Your leadership and hard work on behalf of our children is so very appreciated. Thank you again to our partners, the Children's Trust of South Carolina, Save the Children Action Network, and the United Way Association of South Carolina. Sue, Naomi, and Deborah, thank you. Finally, I wish to thank the dozens of South Carolina organizations endorsing this common agenda as signatories. We look forward to a continuing our work with all of you. Several of us will be available afterward to answer questions from the press and the public. Thank you all. We are now adjourned.